Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifier again. So in the DI set for the day today, we are going to discuss a very good set on DI. Okay, so it in this set we will learn actually how to play with data and how to avoid uh, unnecessary calculations in order to get our results, right? So let's see what the question is all about. The question says this is a point table of English Premier League 2017-78 after 37 games played by each team is given. So there is some data given to us after the 37 games. Each team is yet to play one more match. Now, her team has one match or play. Three points are awarded for a win. Okay, and there is a one point for a draw and there is zero point for a loss. In case two or more teams are level uh, on the points after the last round of matches, the team difference with the higher goal differences awarded the point or is ranked higher basically. So, if if a match ke baal, hypothetically this team is 93, this team is 93 hypothetically. Then the team with the higher goal difference. Goal difference means goals for versus goal against. Goal difference kya hota hai? Ki agar maine ek match mein paanch goal kiye hain aur mere against teen goal hue hain, to hamara jo difference hota hai, usko goal difference kehte hain. Right? So this is the data. So all the data is uh, all my basic points. Just think, all my basic points are lying upon one thing, that is goal difference and the points. Okay. So after the last match, there will be some new goal difference. There will be some new points and on the basis of that, I will have all the results. What is the goal difference currently? 56, 51, 52 and 53. Right. This is the goal difference currently. So I'll just tabulate it and I'll just try to fetch whatever the question has given to me. Okay. So this. So this is the table given to us. Now the goal difference right now is uh, 56, 51, 52 and 53. New, there will be some new goal difference. The, these are the points right now and these will be some new points, right? Okay, fine. So it says, on a final day, United draw with Arsenal. So just, just I am a football fanatic, so I am just reading the nine names, right? So uh, be with that. So uh, Menu uh, draw with Arsenal without scoring. So Menu ne Arsenal ke saa draw kiya without scoring, which means their goal difference is going to be same. Arsenal's goal difference is going to be same. Their points are going to be 93 and their points are going to be 92. Okay. Uh, while Chelsea, uh, Chelsea and Hartpool win their matches against Fulham and Overwell, uh, Overton 6 1 and 4 0. So when Chelsea is winning 6 1, which means their goal difference will improve by 5, right? So their goal difference will be 57 now. And since they are winning, so their uh, points are 93. And Overton is 4-0 and Labour Hartpool is 4-0. So Hartpool has won 4-0. So their goal difference is also 57 and their points are 92. Right. So this is the point table now. Then what is the sum of goal difference of the team ranked 1 and 4? So the team ranked 1, 93-93. This is the team ranked 1, 92-92. This is the team ranked 4. So that difference is 57 plus 51. That is 108. Now, trust me, if you are not doing the calculations this way and if you are writing each and every uh, goal for, goal against and calculations, you will take a lot of time. Okay, so the students who reported to me their timings, one of them took around 45 minutes. Okay, I don't know why, but uh, this much time could have been saved just in case if you are doing the calculations efficiently. Okay, so the answer to the first question is 108. Let's read the second one. If Arsenal draw 3-3 with Chelsea, so Arsenal has no goal difference improvement. Chelsea has no goal difference improvement because they are drawing their matches, but their points will increase by 1-1. One, one. Right, okay. And Manchester United lose to Hartpool 4-1. So Manchester United has lost 4-1, which means Manchester United goal difference will be now 53 because they have lost 4-1, which means they have done one goal and four goals were done against them. Right, so their goal difference is now 53. So their points will remain 92 only. And since Liverpool had done, uh, Liverpool's goal difference will increase by three points. So it will become 56. The points will be 92, right? Then which teams finish the third and the first respectively? So first is definitely Liverpool because the highest goal difference. So this or this between Arsenal and Chelsea. So Arsenal has the better points. So Arsenal is definitely third. So which means second option is our answer, right? So again, this is done. No. Okay. Third point. On the final day, Man United loses 0 2 to Brexton Villa. So Manchester United had lost 0 2, which means their goal difference has declined by 2. So it is 54 now. 
Arsenal and Chelsea draw against Sunderland and Wigan at four four and two. So Arsenal and Chelsea have drawn. So their goal difference will remain as it is, but their points will increase by one each. Right? Manchester United point difference remains same. If Hartpool has considered three goals, if Hartpool has considered three goals, which means their goal difference is now fifty. Then what is the minimum number of goals Hartpool need to do in order to become champion? Okay. So now, if Hartpool have to become champion, which means they have to gain three points, which means they have to win their match, they will reach to ninety-two points, which is same as both of them. In order to become champion, they have to get more more goal difference than Menu. ठीक है ना अगर हार्टपुल को चैंपियन बनना है तो उसको 92 पॉइंट्स लाने के बावजूद मेन्यू से बेटर गोल डिफरेंस करना पड़ेगा अभी उसने जब तीन गोल खा लिए तो उसका गोल डिफरेंस कितना हो गया 50 उसको करना किससे ज्यादा 54 से ज्यादा विच मीन उसको कितने गोल और करने पड़ेंगे फाइव इन दैट केस इट विल रीच फिफ्टी फाइव गोल डिफरेंस एंडल विन दी सो आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज फाइव राइट सो दिस कम्प्लीट माई दिस सेट ओके लेट्स मूव टू द लास्ट सेट If Arsenal wins 4-0 against BOD country, so Arsenal has won 5-4-0. So Arsenal's points are 55. Arsenal's points are 94. So goal difference is 55 points and 94. But our dog the point due to bribery scandal. So the points are 93. One point come kar diya due to bribery scandal. Okay. Then if Chelsea play Hartpool, so Chelsea is playing against Hartpool, and Menu play Bolton, so Menu is playing against some other team. Then which of the following combination will result? In making Arsenal the champion, so Arsenal को champion बनाना है, which means Menu cannot have, cannot win their match, right? So if I see the options, first option is not possible, Manchester United winning. Third option is not possible, Manchester United winning, right? So I am left with this and this. In this, Manchester United is losing, right? So Manchester United points are staying stagnant, and Chelsea is winning six five. So Chelsea's point are getting. 91. While Liverpool, you just remain. So option four is your right answer, right? So option four is directly giving me the result that Arsenal is winning, which means option four is the right answer. So this completes my set. If you have any doubt in this, please feel free to ping us. I hope you have joined our Facebook group for the daily practice. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.